Last week, I unboxed this Ping Master and I tried to create a converter for it, but I failed. So today I want to show you how you can properly create a converter for the Ping Master. To start, here is a list of the things you will need. You need four wires of different colors. I'm using a ribbon cable here, but any wire will do it. You also need this 9-pin female connector. Mine came with this little case that fits the adapter, but I want to see if I can come up with another case that fits the Pro Micro. Then, of course, you need a Pro Micro. And finally, an USB cable with the mini USB port. First thing we'll need to do is strip the wires. In my case, I need to separate the cables first, like so. And then I'm going to use a proper tool for stripping wires, but you can use a knife or anything you have available. Let's do the same thing with the other pair of wires. Then the next thing we need to do is to tin the tips of the wires. So make sure you twist them like this before actually tinning. For tinning, I always use this helping hand tool. So I'm going to clip one of the ends here. And then you're going to need a soldering iron. And of course some solder. And here's what you do. We're going to try to apply solder to the exposed tip that we have here. So we're going to touch the exposed wire here and we're going to try to drag the solder and the tip at the same time. Trying to create this uniform layer of solder on the cable. Now let's do the same thing on the other ends. One tip here is to always twist the ends so they don't separate while you're trying to solder them. Let's now repeat the process on the other ends. So for the converter, we're going to be using pins 2, 3, 4, and 5. You can see them here. 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we're also going to add a little bit of solder to all those pins. And for this, I also like to use my helping hands. And now we're going to start adding solder to all of those pins. Just add a little bit of solder to each pin. Before we continue, let's go to the TMK website and click Converter, IBM, and then down here we'll be able to see the pinout for the connector we're building. As you can see, pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is VCC, 4 is data, and 5 is clock. So we're going to solder pins 2 and 3 first. If you remember, pin 2 is VCC or plus 5 volts. And pin 3 is ground that goes here. As you can see, we have pins 2 and 3 soldered. So let's move on to 4 and 5. Let's now start soldering the wire to the Pro Micro. So 
So let's start soldering VCC and ground. And if you remember, black is ground. So what we want to do here is add a little bit of solder to the two pins. So next we're going to reflow the solder and then insert the wire. And then after that we're going to repeat the same thing for the other wire. Now on the other side we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add some solder here to pin 2 and to pin 3. Next we're going to solder the data wire, in my case represented by this orange color, to pin number 3. And then we're going to do the same thing with the clock wire, in this case represented by this yellow color. And here is how it should look after everything is soldered on the Pro Micro. We have data and clock here on the right side. And then we have VCC and ground. So I realized I made a mistake and I inverted the VCC and the ground wires here. So let's fix this. All right, so don't make the same mistake that I did. Make sure you solder ground to pin number two and VCC to pin number three. This part is completely optional, but you can see that I assembled the case that came with my connector and I added a little bit of double-sided tape and I'll stick the Pro Micro on top of the connector. And this is how it should look. Now we need to start configuring our firmware and for that we go to the TMK Keymap Editor website and we're going to select 102 Key Alps for the revision 1. If you want you can change some settings here but I'm going to leave it as it is. Next you will go and click the download button. Now save this hex file as we're going to use it later. The next thing we're going to install is MSYS2. Make sure you choose 64 or 32 bits depending on your Windows version. Once it's downloaded, proceed with the installation. Then the next thing we're going to install is AVR Dude. Just go to Download Area and then choose the most recent MingW version. Click to download it. And once it's downloaded, go into your Downloads folder and extract it. After extracting, move both files to your downloads directory. Now start MSYS, go into the downloads folder and run AVR Dude. If everything worked, you're going to see AVR Dude's help information. Now connect your Pro Micro to your computer. I click the Windows button and go all the way to Device Manager. There you see the part where your Pro Micro is connected. Take note on that. Then run this command, replacing COM6 by the proper port where your Pro Micro is connected to. Then, if you see the thank you message, it means everything worked. Time for the truth. Let's see if this worked. Let's get our connector and let's plug the USB mini connector onto its back. And then let's connect it to the Ping Master. Now let's type something and see if we get the beeps. And as you can see, we do. So thanks for watching. And if this tutorial helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. 
and see you next time.